Good morning, PS86. This is Mrs. DeHorty speaking, and today is Friday. Thank you for joining me for this week's reading challenge. This week, I'm going to be reading a very, very special book to you. This book was given to me by my mom when I was in second grade. I've kept this book for a very long time, and I hope that you guys will love it as much as I do. This book is called Miss Spider's Tea Party by David Kirk. One lonely spider sipped her tea while gazing at the sky. She watched the insects on the leaves and many flying by. If I had friends like these, she sighed, who'd stay a while with me, I'd sit them down on silken chairs and serve them cakes and tea. Two timid beetles, Ike and May, crept from the woodwork that same day. But when Miss Spider begged, please stay, they shrieked, oh no, and dashed away. Three fireflies flew inside that night, their spirits high, their tails alight. They spied the web and squeaked in fear, we'd better get away from here. The little trio did not feel they'd care to be a spider's meal. Why do they all keep flying away? Four bumblebees buzzed by outside. Please come to tea, Miss Spider cried. The four ignored her swaying there. She waved a tea towel in the air. She took a cup and tapped the glass. Then one bee spoke to her at last. We would be fools to take our tea with anyone so spidery. Hmm. I remember my computational thinking skill of noticing patterns, and I'm seeing a few patterns in this book. Can you think of any patterns? I'm noticing that it's a pattern because there's counting. We started with one spider. Two beetles, three fireflies, and four bumblebees. Do you notice any other patterns? I wonder how many insects will be on the next page. Within the shadows of the room, just peeking from behind a broom, five grinning faces bobbed and peered. Miss Spider smiled, her heart was cheered. Descending for a closer look, she danced into a gloomy nook, but sadly found those jolly mugs belonged, alas, to rubber bugs. They're not gonna eat the fur. Rubber bugs don't eat. Some ants strode in, they numbered six. But ants with spiders will not mix. She brewed them tea from hips of roses. The proud platoon turned up their noses. Why will anybody drink tea or cake, have cake with Miss Spider? I wonder how she's feeling. A fine bouquet concealed its prize of seven dainty butterflies. Miss Spider, watching from the wall, was not aware of them at all. The tea table was set for eight, with saucers, cups, and silver plate. The cakes were fresh, the service gleamed, yet no one would arrive, it seemed. Her company and no demand left her a cup for every hand. I like that part. There's eight cups, and she's a spider, and spiders have eight legs. So, her company and no demand, meaning none of the bugs came to eat with her, left her a cup for every hand. Eight hands, eight cups. Let's keep going. Nine spotted moths kept safe and warm in shelter from a thunderstorm. 
They stood beneath an open sash and watched the jagged lightning flash. Miss Spider dropped down on a thread, a silver tray above her head. She'd hoped to please them, but instead... They flew away in mortal dread. They left me all alone, she cried. She dabbed her eyes and sadly sighed. It's plain no bug will ever stay. Her tears splashed down upon the tray. Ten tiny steaming cups of tea were perched atop her trembling knee. She sipped and sobbed and heard a cough and turned to see a small, wet moth. A fragile thing so soaked by rain, his wings too damp to fly again. She smiled and took a checkered cloth, the cloak, the frail and thankful moth. They talked and snacked on tea and pie until his tiny wings were dry. Then lifting him with tender care, she tossed him gently in the air. The moth told Ike and Ike told May, who went from bug to bug to say, there is no reason for alarm. She's never meant us any harm. So later on that afternoon, assembled in the dining room, Eleven insects came to tea to share Miss Spider's courtesy. Twelve tender violets in a vase presented at Miss Spider's place. Set by her chair so neatly spun, she munched the blossoms one by one. Her friends were glad to watch her feast upon the floral centerpiece. It was a great relief to see. She ate just flowers and drank just tea. Miss Spider's reputation grew. Before too long, our hostess knew. Each bug who crawled or hopped or flew, and all their lovely children, too. The End Thank you guys for joining me for this week's reading challenge. I can't wait to see you next week.